channel Gemini it's always a blessing to have you guys here if it is your first time here I welcome you and if you are in fact returning to the channel Gemini I welcome you guys back with open arms let's put your speaker in all right so I welcome you back Gemini it is always a blessing to have you guys here now if it is your first time here welcome if you're returning welcome back we're going to get into a prayer, but just know that you're a diamond. Please continue to shine bright and to shine beautiful like a diamond. All right, you guys, let's pray. Heavenly Father, as I come before, I ask for your blessings for myself and for my secrets. Heavenly Father, please send the most powerful angels to take charge over this reading, using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words. And also giving me the right messages that you want me to share with the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praises in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. All right, so, gems. Just know that this reading is a general reading. And it's not a personal one. So with that being said, it may or it may not resonate with you. Um, please take what does. Leave the absolute rest. The roles are always reversing, you guys. So place your situation where you need to place them. Also, if you are cross-watching, just know that same applies for you guys as well. I'm always happy to have you guys here. If you are interested in having a personal with me, you can always connect with me using the information that I've provided for you guys. And that will be in the description of this video to schedule an appointment for a personal one, okay? All right, let's get to an angel here. The angel that comes to Gemini and the angel is already here. <laughs> the angel that comes to will be the angel that will assist me with your reading tonight. Um, we are going to, I think we're going to do, you know what, Gems, let's do an overall read now. Um, I'm also going to attach on this read to another one at the end. So stay tuned for that, okay? All right, so we have the Angels of New Beginning. The Angels of New Beginning will be your 22nd angel in line. For some of you guys, you may want to write this angel down, the angels of new beginning on white paper or parchment paper. Um, and just place it like somewhere personal that you may be the only one that knows where this is. Write down your situation here as well, as far as new beginnings are concerned. For some of you really yearning to start over. This is what I'm hearing, um, a new chapter here. All right, thank you, angels, for coming to, to assist me with this reading. We appreciate you. All right, let's get you an angel message here. An angel message for Gemini at this time. What is the most important message here for Gemini at this time from your angels? message from the angels for Gemini please okay Gemini so you have the angel number 44 the angel number 44 I am supportive you may want to say this three times. I am supportive. I am supportive. I am supportive. Angels are saying, I, I mean, I am supported. Okay? Supported, supported. Same thing. All right. So, angels are saying that your angels are encouraging you to continue on your present life path with diligence and determination and even a greater success will come in the future. 
okay angel number 44 i am supported thank you angels for that let's get you an affirmation here also the affirmation here please for Gemini at this time what is it that is important for Gemini to know at this time as far as the affirmation is concerned affirmation please for Gemini at this time angels ancestors spirit guides affirmation for Gemini please What is it that Gemini needs to know right now? Thank you. All right, so the affirmation is advancement. Look at you going up those stairs. Hmm. Wow. Now, it is just saying that career growth can be expected in your field of work. Opportunities are coming in, in your ways, what you're saying. So don't waste your time and improve your finances. Wow. Don't waste time on certain things as far as your future goals are concerned. Some of you just need to kind of let a situation go as far as your job is concerned. Maybe, you know, you, you, you haven't been seeing any growth. Opportunities are coming your way. So something new, new beginning. This is the angel that came through for you guys earlier. Angels of new beginnings. I'm telling you, you better write this angel down and man manifest this angel into your life. Angels of new beginning. All right, let's see what the universe has for you in love. What is the message? For Gemini in love. What is it that Gemini needs to know right now as far as love is concerned? You guys, I'm using my deck to pull this energy through. It is called the, the Awakening 1111. If you guys are interested in purchasing this deck, you can always check in the description of the video and you'll see exactly how to do so. Okay. All right, what is the message? In love, please, for Gemini. Message in love for Gemini, please. Okay. Angels have spoken. I'm hearing a curse here that's coming through. And your intuition. So why do I suddenly feel like whatever is going on here, as far as some of you guys feel like somebody might have put a juju on there or something, I'm feeling like you already know what's popping. You already maybe know why it happened. You already know what the circle is giving <clears throat> because you are definitely been tapping into your high priestess energy. Um, I'm trying to figure it out somebody's motive here. I'm seeing gossips. That some of you may be attached to people who are talking, all kind of junk. Doesn't really make any sense. Somebody's either spreading rumors or somebody's just make, you know, telling lies here, talking, laughing, giggling, whatever, trying to cause confusion. Um, I, I, I'm just, just telling lies here. Untold truth, that's never ending. Somebody's just constantly making up lies here to make themselves look good. Okay, somebody's just been bitter and wicked and vicious. And I feel that like this person will continue to keep going on if you allow this person to tap into your energy any further. Um, protecting your peace here, using your intuition here, and resonating to the higher ups. Some of you guys, you're definitely on some kind of a guide here. You may be already on a spiritual guide. Angel said that you need to stay focused on you. Just staying focused on you right now as far as whatever is concerned that's attached to love. You have to just stay focused 
on you and stop dreaming. Stop dreaming and start doing. But some of you may just say things that you don't really do. Or you do things that you don't really say. <laughs> However you take that. But that's what's coming through here for some of you guys. Somebody needs to make their mind up and stick to it. Streets are talking. Streets are talking. I feel like whoever is talking, you know who these people are. This situation is. Somebody just will never stop. They just continue to talk shit. Okay. It feels like a curse and maybe it is. Somebody's going to get a payback because they won't stop talking. I'm here. What goes around comes around. What falls off the tree falls on somebody's shoulder is what I'm hearing. Uh, let me get some messages from this deck. All right. I'm going to pull some energy through here for the divine. This is my daughter's deck, you guys. And if you are also interested in purchasing this deck, Gemini, um, you can always check in my description and you'll find it. The same way that you purchase my deck is the same way that you will be able to purchase hers. Okay? The contact information is down below. All right. Let's tap into this energy. Terrify these messages, please. Wow, that's coming through. That's something. Number 444 is coming through. Somebody needs help. Somebody's crying out for help. Still so small though. 444. Ain't you just saying that's time that you wash your hands to some of you guys? Let it go. Wash your hands. Cleanse it. Doesn't live here anymore. Forgive yourself. Spell work is involved. Letting go of whatever is causing this or having you feeling trapped or stuck. Moving on because you're definitely attached to um, toxic energy here. Angel number 8528. Period. Time that you wash your hands here. 444. Four, four. Period. Only at night. Somebody just wants to like do something at night. Why am I hearing like a, a booty call type situation ship here? Somebody doesn't want to do something in the daytime. They prefer to just kind of show up at night. What's going on here? Something is in the reverse. No need to worry. Ain't you just saying that there's no need to worry? Something is coming to an end. Something's about to come in to an end. What's going on? Tell me more. Okay, so I'm hearing red butterfly of love that's coming through. I do feel like this is a marriage. If this person wasn't married to you, then you, you, you were hoping that this person is yours. But this person may be connected to someone else. There's a lot of confusion here with this entire situation. Um, I'm seeing the moon here. So something's kind of hiding. Something's kind of hiding or not telling the truth. Um, but you have to listen to your heart, though. That's your intuition. Because this person is trying to reach out. Messy but can't help it. This person is messy as hell. They have a lot going on. Something got, somebody got a lot going on here. I'm hearing liar, liar, pants on fire. Stop, storm warning. That's it. That's what's coming in. Agent number 16. There's a massive change that's coming in. There's a, a some kind of a shift. A cold red. This is what I'm hearing. Cold red. I'm in cold, cold red. All right. All right. Let's clarify these messages up, okay? All right, angels. Please protect me and my seekers who are watching from anything that may come through to harm us. We're sending it back to sender. So we came. So we left. In the name of God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, 
so it is so it's done okay the ace of pentacles and queen of swords I feel like right now, you know, for some of you guys, you're just trying to manifest your life here, okay? Or you need to. With the Ace of Pentacles being here and the Queen of Swords, you definitely have to organize your life, organize your space, be in perspective, be independent, knowing what you want here, not depending or leaning on anyone for their own understandings. Is what I'm hearing, Gemini. I really feel like one thing for certain and a million and 20,000 things for sure, there's definitely some kind of an opportunity that is coming in towards you. Um, I feel like this is going to, this, this opportunity that is coming in, it's going to take you out of a lot of your financial problems that you may have been facing. For some of you, for some time, that's coming to an end. Tell me more for gems. So what's coming through here? All right, so we have the Fool. We also have the Two of Wands in the reverse. Hmm. And look at that, the Ace of Cups also in the reverse. So there's some kind of a blockage that's coming through. Somebody is, it's just all about emotions. So somebody's emotions is just totally blocked off here. I feel like this is one of the reasons, or maybe this is not the only reason, but I do pick up on fear. So someone is either afraid of the unknown here with the two of wands and the energy in the reverse. It's, this is this is definitely in the this is mm, somebody either took a leap of faith here, or someone wanted to have a new beginning and it just kind of didn't happen because of fear and blockages. Uh, what is it? What is the ace of, of the cups in the reverse and the two of wands? Okay, so someone was feeling very stuck here. With the sun in the reverse, okay, so there's a some kind of a depression for some of you guys. Yeah, somebody was depressed, um, very depressed, major depression here. Some of you guys just feel like you couldn't be bothered being around anyone, just want to be by yourself, dealing with isolation here, dealing with a lot of the restrictions in your life here with the, the eight of swords. But something is leaving, something is out the door, temporary. Whatever this emotion is, it is temporary. It's not going to be a permanent thing. It's going to be over its ending. Okay, yes. This is confirmation with the Empress here. That's over. So some of you guys are just, yeah, the lovers and temperance. The lovers, the temperance, and the Empress. You're really balancing your life. You're really tapping into stability here. I'm feeling like you have definitely been patient with the entire situation that you're dealing with. Um, you know, tired of just having things going all the way left here. Dealing with people around you that is dealing with greed and, and dissatisfaction with their energy. But this person is consistent. They want to come back. Um, but there's an ending here. Something has to end. Like, if you're... If you really want to be with this person, Gemini, okay, or whatever situation that you're abiding with, whatever is making you feel like you're stuck or trapped or whatever is making you feel like you can't or whatever is feeling like he has some kind of a strong hold on you, that situation has to end for something to begin. So whether you're going to begin a situation with that same situation that situation has to leave that damn stupid dumb ass situation behind okay they cannot come towards you with the same bullshit it's not going to work because then you're going to have the nine of pentacles in the reverse you're going to have the ten of pentacles in the reverse and you're definitely going to have setbacks with the four of swords also in the reverse okay dealing with restlessness at night feeling burned out drained out and Feeling like somebody got the G-U-N at your head, okay? Fear. And then you have this 
two of cups energy in the reverse see it won't even make a difference if you don't take care of you you're gonna have to take care of you this is what the angels are saying here that's one too many let me tap out of this and get another deck because oh somebody's uh somebody's just like weird at this moment I don't even want this one either. I already picked up the energy I need to do out of this one. Mm. What's the important messages here, please? Tell me more. All right, so you have justice here. What is justice? What is justice all right so justice is a chariot <clears throat> the chariot and the five of cups five of cups and the lovers in the reverse the lovers in the reverse and the sun the sun and the eight of wands so whatever this justice is they, they, you know somebody's energy is like really blocked off uh, I feel like there's separation that is coming through I feel like somebody's lying somebody's not telling the truth I feel like whatever you might have wanted to to know, you're either finding out this late because something seems to be moving very slowly. But I really feel like you have to continue to be determined and dealing with determination with the chariot been here and the justice been here. The truth is going to come out regardless. I feel like you should have put up a fight because whatever you can fix, the angels are going to send the right people to fix it for you. Is what I'm hearing. Something's going to be dead. Someone wants you to be shame or whatever. It's going in the reverse. They're the one who's going to be shame, walking around feeling like a loser here, especially because you have a lover's card that's in the reverse. Okay, energy is very low here. This person is feeling very low. This person is feeling weird. This person is causing major arcanas, having things setting back here. The eight of cups in the reverse, choices and decisions with the ten of cups, the, twi the ten of pentacles here. All right. Um, major ch choices, decisions. I feel like it's time that you make that decision set in stone for some of you guys. It's going to bring you a lot of love here, a lot of change, a lot of manifestation here. Rebuilding a structure that you might have lost. I'm seeing money. You're going to be given a whole lot of money here, okay? Something is coming towards you. Believe it. Believe it. You have to believe it. You have to grasp it. It's going to happen. Whatever you have been dealing with, whatever the enemy has set up for, the, for your bad, it's going to come towards you for your good. Okay? No weapon that formed against your gentleman now will ever prosper. It never prospered last time. It's not going to prosper now and it won't prosper the next lifetime. Okay? Whoever had set this net out to have you feeling stuck and to have you feel like you can't, they're going to pay for that. Barely. They're already paying. Because some of them is already having sleepless loser nights. And it's a hell to the nah. Okay. What goes around comes around. Alright you guys. Um, this is going to be your read. Um, I hope that it did resonate with you, Gemini. And remember, please, that I have another read. Angel wants me to put another read to this one. Whoever is meant to see that is meant to see it. Um, give me the video a thumbs up on your way out. And if you do need to have a prayer request, you could always connect with me using information that I provided for you guys. And that will be in the description of the video as always. All right. Um... Also, just leave your initials down below. Okay, just leave your initials down below. Um, and just let me know that you need one. Otherwise, everything that you need to know about me will be in the description for sure. Okay, I think I said that in the reverse. But anywho, you know what I mean. Okay, just always um, leave your initials in the description. Of, in the comment section. Alright, I love you guys to the moon and stars. Um, pray for me as I'm praying for you. And with that said... Always remember to seek for senior oil. It's fine. Bye, guys. Hi, Gemini. Welcome back. 
Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel, Gemini. It is always a blessing to have you guys here. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are, in fact, returning to the channel, welcome back. You know you're a diamond. Continue to shine bright and beautiful like a diamond. I'm not actually in my office, you guys. I'm in my daughter's office, and that is my very last daughter. You guys know I have three daughters. For those of you who didn't know, I have three daughters. And all of my three... Oh, look at this. <sighs> All of my three daughters are tarot card readers. Um, one is professional, but the other two, they have a channel, but they're not consistent. And But yeah, they're all tarot readers. So, readers. so I'm in my last daughter's office space is where I'm at doing a read for you guys. I have music playing outside. Um, I'm pretty much cleansing my home right now. So I have um spiritual music playing in the background. So if I if I'm go if I go in my office and um of course to do a read, I'm gonna get copyrighted. So I'm just gonna go ahead and utilize my daughter's office space. But before I do that, I'm definitely gonna cleanse the area. So that I could get positive vibes in here for you guys, okay? So let's get into a prayer. You know your diamond shine like a diamond. Heavenly Father, I come before you. I ask you for your blessings for myself and for my seekers, Heavenly Father. Please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading. Using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the right messages. That you want me to share the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praises. In Jesus' name, amen. Please send back any bad intentions back to sender. Heavenly Father, anything that may hurt or harm myself and for all those who are watching, we bind, we bind any bad intentions, any negativity in the comment section. We send it back to sender 10 times 10 in the name of God the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit. So it is, so it is, so it's done. Boom. All right, so Gemini, just know that this reading is a general and not a personal, okay? So with that being said, um, it may resonate with you and then again, it simply may not. So take what does resonate with you, leave the absolute rest. The roles are always reversing you guys, so keep that in mind, okay? Um, cross watchers, hi. I love to have you cross watching here. But the same applies for you guys as well, okay? Now, if you are interested, you guys, in having a personal with me, you can always connect with me using the information that I've provided for you guys, and that will be um, in the description of this video. I'm, I feel naked. I feel naked because you guys, hold on a second, okay? Because I'm not all the way protected. So hold on, guys. Hold on. Let me go ahead and get protection bracelet here. All right, you guys, I'm back. You coming, future? You just have to be a part of the party. Oh my god. All right, you guys. Let me go ahead and protect myself. You know what I'm saying? All right. Oh, Jesus. I feel so much better. Safe and sanctified. All right, you guys. So let's see what's coming true. Your energy here. Okay. Let's just pull some cards here and see what's coming through. Um, I'm not going to label this for the A24, no contact or whatever. It's just whatever comes through, comes through, okay? All right, gems, let's get to it. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides. What is the message for gems here, please? What's the message for gems? What is it that you need me to share with gems right now? Holy Spirit. Ooh, this came out sideways here. 
sideways the unknown what the what the hell the unknown came through sideways sideways look at that gemini oh jeez i feel like right now gemini you are definitely in an unknown zone what is going on gemini why do i suddenly feel like somebody needs to turn the hell around here somebody need to turn around you're going you you going you're hitting a dead end here somebody is hitting a dead end something the, the unknown somebody need to detour let's clarify this unknown what is this Somebody's on this stretch and, and, and somebody knows that this is a dead end ass zone and somebody's still heading down there. Turn around. Let's put let's the brakes on this and see what, what's going on with this unknown zone. Perspective. Zone of this. And you're going to say perspective. None of this matters. Zoom out. Oh my God. Oh my God. Zoomed out common ground. Jesus. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Darkness. Look at this. Somebody is heading to an unknown freaking zone. Angel said, none of this matters. Whatever the hell you head into down here, this freaking unknown zone, angels are saying at this present freaking time, it does not freaking matter, okay? It does not matter. Somebody is zoomed the hell out on common grounds. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Blessed Jesus. Stop what you're doing and just make a D damn tour. That's what that means. Let's see what's popping here. Somebody got something to say. Somebody's got something to say, Gemini. I feel it. I already feel it. Somebody got something to say here. What the hell you got to say? Tap it into this energy, please. Angels, Holy Spirit, answers to spirit guides. Tap it into this energy because somebody got something to say here. What, what you got to say? Okay. Nobody got damn something to say. Okay. I love myself enough to walk away. This is what this person got to say. Now, this person is saying, okay. <laughs> holy Spirit, holy angels, holy ancestors, spirit guides. My spirit guides come through on this one. Okay. Because somebody needs to hear this shit. Your person whose energy I'm tapped into. And listen, Gemini. Listen, Gemini. Listen, Gemini. Your person is your person, okay? Who first came to your damn talk? I don't care where you want to place this person. What do you want to place them in the past? Or what do you want to place them, damn it, right now? Or what do you want to place them to come, Okay. But your person is your person whose energy you just pulled into this damn read, okay? This person is saying that they love themselves first. They never loved you first. They love themselves first. And so they chose to walk away. Now, if they didn't already walk away, they're planning on walking the hell away, okay? Because they're telling me that I couldn't tell you face to face. I could not tell you face to face that that was my damn plan. You see what I'm saying? I could not tell you face to face that my plans and my true intentions here was to walk the hell away. Unknown zone. Angels are saying none of this shit really matters at this point. Dark. Tell me more. What is it that you want to say here? 
come clean, you might already, you might have already, you might already just, just come damn clean at this point. Come clean with it. Shit. Come clean. Clean the zone here. What zone are you on? Is it the space zone, Jupiter, Mars, or whatever, pool turn, chapter, whatever? All right. I can still see you standing there. They say they still see you standing there after they walk the hell away from you. Okay. Cold-blooded. Sometimes I hear your voice. This person is, is, is being stalked. Okay. This person is being stalked by justice, judgment, the tower, everything. Okay. They're being stalked by karma. Clarity. Somebody's trying to find clarity. This is it right here. Okay. I'm telling you. Mm -mm. Tell me more. Clarify these messages, please. For gems. I never used this deck before. And like I said, all the cards that I'm using here is my daughter's card. So we'll see what comes to her, her deck. Okay. Let's see if we could clarify what's really popping here her deck all right tapping into the energy here once again protecting from anything that may come through to harm myself and for those who are watching send any voodoo any spell work all that shit back to the center in, in 10 times boom 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 back at this stupid ass okay the four swords in the reverse you see what I'm saying? That four of swords right here in the reverse, it really, really clarifies this unknown Zoomerat zone. It what it does, what it do. Okay. Someone is just trying to kind of evaluate something here. I could tell this is not my deck. It's not cooperating that much, but it's gonna work. The four of swords in the reverse. Whatever it is that you're trying to find clarity on, peace on, you, there's no more time to waste. That's also in the reverse. I feel like somebody's going to be wasting their time trying to find clarity as to what's going on with this person. Okay, we have the King of Wands, the energy in the reverse, and the Two of Swords. So somebody is, is, is either stuck or this person is just still fighting a battle within themselves. This person is going through some things here, not ready to communicate, still putting up a wall, putting up a resistance here. I feel like you're just over it. You're just kind of not feeling this person anymore. The vibes is gone. It's dead. You, 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 you're just like, what? <laughs> like what? You know what goes around comes around. Tell me more. <laughs> You're like, hold up, baby, because you ain't got it like that now, okay? Freak. You ain't got it like that. Where's the damn card go at? Mm -mm -mm. Hmm. The Nine of Swords. Oh, man. Talk about depression here. Talk about anxiety. The nine of swords and knight of wands. The knight of wands, the empress in the reverse. Yeah. If you're going through all of that depression and all of that um, anxiety and stress and having sleepless night, for some of you, you're either taking something for sleep because you're not even able to sleep. You're not even able to, con to communicate well, whether you're doing your job or, or not, or just vibing with anyone. It's like you get angry when you're not even supposed to be angry. And it's not like you're meant to be that way or to get to that stage in your life. It's just that you're going through a lot is what you're going through, Gemini. You ain't mean to hurt nobody. You ain't mean to offend anybody. But you have a lot of shit on your table here. The two of pentacles um, in the reverse and the, nine of, the knight of swords. This is why you're going through so much because you have the two of pentacles energy in the reverse because 
See, what's really happening here is that, you know, not only is someone kind of confused about what they really want and juggling something, but because you're trying to flip the script, it's like uh, you could be trying to flip the script because you kind of finally saying, okay, so this is what you're doing. This is what I'm getting after all of this, after all this investment. Now you're acting confused like you don't know what to do. Like you're trying to be a mini manipulator or you're trying to tap into my energy and, 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 and I should be the one that's putting something to an end here. I feel like with this deck being here and the Six of Pentacles, I feel like you're done. I feel like this person, you're just done with it. I feel like you did your best. And I feel like you should give yourself a pat on the shoulder is what I'm hearing, Gemini. You should pat yourself. And continue to kind of know that you are that in the bag of chips, okay? The lovers in the reverse, the six of swords in the reverse. You just putting an end to this situation, okay? But for some of you guys, though, and I, I'm, I'm saying some, not all. But for some of you guys, you really want to tap out of this person. As much as you feel like this person is tapped all, all the way up in you, you feel like you really want to walk away from this person, right? But the problem is you kind of want to still have a hold on this person. Now you're going to have to make a choice, boo, because you can't have both sides of the fence here. This is why we still have the two of pentacles over here. Now you have the seven of wands in the reverse. You have the knight of cups in the reverse okay somebody's still not made the decision yet this person is either go, going through some things um this could be um, whatever things that they're going through financially um manipulating ways of being broke being stubborn being stuck or just being um on the side of the concord okay but someone is just feeling very lost at this moment this 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 night okay this night is just acting weird. All right, let's see. Tell me more. We've got a lot coming out here. The Ten of Cups, the High Priestess in the reverse. This is in the reverse. The Ten of Cups in the reverse. So this person definitely put an end to the dream here. For some of you, you didn't use your intuition to see the damn red flags here. That this person wasn't manifesting anything with you. The Nine of Cups in the reverse. The Ten of Cups in the reverse. They put an end to this entire damn dream. And then the devil is in the reverse. We have the chariot. So this is you moving forward. I wonder where, how far are you going? I hope you're not going into this unknown zone here. Okay, with the Ten of Swords in the reverse. I'm seeing healing that's coming through. So some of you guys is waking up. <laughs> okay, the Eight of Wands, yeah. It's going to happen very fast here. With the High Priestess energy here to balance you out. But for some of you guys, you're just not using your intuition here. Why is it that I feel like you are not using your spiritual intuition? Like, there's two different kinds of intuition, okay? There's the unknown one, and there's a known. All right, clarify this. Clarify this for gems, please. Angels, ancestors, my spirit guides, tapping into the energy of gems, please. What's the message here? These are all my daughter's deck, you guys. All right. And I feel like, okay. <laughs> yes, I mean, my daughter's deck is giving the gift. It's giving me the clarity that I need. The three of swords in the reverse, you guys are healing from devastation here, from heartbreak and pain and hurt. This could be a third party situation. This person dragged your ass in it. Didn't ask for it, but you was dragged into a situation. The king of swords and judgment. You shouldn't have to worry about a damn thing. <laughs> there is no need to worry, honey. Okay. This person is 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 just want to take power. This person wants to be um glorified here. I feel like judgment is is, is going to set something free. Someone is even separating or making sort of something permanent here. But I feel like there's a house involved. Why do I feel like there's a house involved? Maybe you guys share a home. 
all right someone might have meant for you to be left with stuck with baggages here um for some of you i feel like you don't want to go back this person is still fighting this person wants to fight um they like to argue i feel like this person may be all um talk and 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 nothing the two of swords in the reverse okay <laughs> The two of swords in the reverse and the and the fool here. So there's something that someone might in the reverse. Someone made made a choice here, jumped into a situation, even though there were no no communication that was coming through. Someone wanted to take a risk and take another chance. Well, we all take chances, right? But what is the fool here in the reverse and the two of swords? Please clarify that because I feel like this choice in the world. So something is going to change for some of you guys is what I'm hearing. This is one too many. All right, it's going to change on spiritual path and drive way here. All right, so something is changing. Yeah, I feel like you shouldn't share any spiritual energy with this person anymore. You can pray for this person. <laughs> okay, because I really feel like at this point, this person really needs this prayer more than anything else. Okay, they do. Because I feel like there's, like somebody's dealing with something that's really not connected, not even to them, never to say the least, not even connected to you. This is why you're feeling so burdened and drained is what I'm getting. Uh, let's see what's popping. What is this? Angels, ancestors, spirit guides. All right, so we have the Ace of Pentacles. So something new is coming through. I feel like whatever is coming through is new, fresh start, new beginning here. This this is gonna be a job opportunity. Um, this could be someone is coming to work with some kind of an aid. This could be money that was owed to you. I'm seeing you praying a lot, so I feel like it's happening with the Aerophant in the reverse. But I do feel like you're separating yourself from anything that's not on spiritual zone. This is what I'm hearing. I'm seeing the sun. I'm seeing you releasing this heavy load with the ten of wands in the reverse. Because something seems to have fallen apart. I feel like you shouldn't hold on to any more hurt and pain. Or hold on to any more grudges because it's not your load to carry anymore. Tell me more. Tell me more for gems, please. All right, so gems I'm seeing. Okay, so this is the Eight of Swords in the upright. You have the Eight of Swords in the upright. Eight of Swords and Nine of Wands. Oh, so you're tapping into this Nine of Wands energy. You're freeing yourself. You're happy. Um, You're moving forward. You're releasing this burden. This baggage is feeling stuck and trapped with people who's, who are losers here. This, the Seven of Wands in this, I'm sorry, the Seven of Cups in the reverse. So you're getting clarity as to this person. This person thinks that they had many options, but they're actually running out of damn options. Yeah, I'm hearing third party situations here. Um, I'm seeing no movement. Someone is still stuck because there's a decision that needs to be made by this person. And they're still yet been caught because of ego and stubbornness. They haven't made one yet. Um, but what I see you doing is releasing this, the Ten of Swords in the reverse. So whatever this person might have done to you that caused so much pain, I feel like you're healing. You're you're in the healing zone. You're hurting, but you're healing. The Ace of Cups, something new, new beginning, fresh start. This could be love that's coming in. Love that's coming in. You're manifesting this. You're praying for this coming very fast is what I'm seeing. The Nine of Pentacles. All right, so you're getting in preparation for this. The Nine of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles. So you're putting in the work. You're investing into you. It's hard work, but it's going to happen. This is what I'm seeing. But I'm seeing you're not alone. I'm seeing help coming towards you very fast. Okay? Um, something is over, a cycle is over, it's ending. You're making a, re a release with the Eight of Cups in the reverse, okay? Once you release this baggage, you have to let it set in stone because I do see the Eight of Wands here as well. So whatever change or whatever manifestation that's happening in your life right now, being happy, being um, pure, being sweet, be just getting ready for this um, abundance of joy and, and, and stability and balance and everything is happening. It's going to be happening very fast, okay? Someone is going to be sorry. <laughs> sorry as hell. The love is in the reverse. This person is sorry as hell, okay? They're done for because of the hurt. I feel like, you know, for some of you, you really, you know, you really have to first forgive this person. This person needs forgiveness, 
okay? Because this will be your port of entry where your forgiveness that you show towards this person is going to help you to move into a new chapter of your life because what is needed right now is new because I don't see where this person you know they say some one thing and they do something totally damn different I'm, 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 as much as you're sick of it Gemini I'm so I'm sick of it too <laughs> I'm just sick of it okay like like period this person got to make their mind up or, 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 or this is you. Okay. Or this is you. But somebody got to make their mind up here because somebody is wasting time at this point. A whole lot of damn time wasted and time wait for nobody. I can remember when I was six years old in elementary school and shit. I know I'm as old as hell. Okay. Pains all over my damn body. Old as hell. All right, you guys, I love you to the moon and stars. Um, pray for me as I'm always praying for you, Gemini. And with that said, always remember to seek first and you always find. Bye, guys. Later.